Okay, now we'll draw the pipes and you can do this either by clicking onto the pipe toolbar or by clicking onto the pipes from the AutoNet menu item. Note that your pipe network can be a, a tree or a loop or a grid or a combination of these. Let's connect these sprinklers and the ones to, to the left hand side and one to the right and we'll do the same and repeat the steps. The same step for the sprinklers below these ones to the left and to the right and we'll do it for the last a lot of sprinklers here to the left and and to the right now we can connect the sprinklers to the pipes by clicking on the connect the receptors to existing pipe command now we select the sprinklers that we want press enter and select the pipe segment that we wish to connect to and the program does that automatically we can repeat the step for the sprinkler to the right and repeat the same step for the sprinklers below on the left hand side and the right hand side and finally we can also do that for the last lot of sprinklers you can run this command multiple times if you need to connect to vertical and horizontal pipes also we uh, can delete all the segments that we don't need so we can just delete these and now we're going to add our network start point but before we do that we need to connect the pipe from 2.8 meters where our pipes are and bring it down to ground level which is zero so we're just adding a command to to do this and then stretch it out a bit horizontally and now we from the alternate menu we can select our start point or our supply point which is typically a firefighting pump and by going to a 3D view we can verify that our design is correct um, but the final step of verification also is to do a network recognition so we'll do the network recognition and we see that all the nodes have been numbered correctly so this concludes step 3